Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. I am the Biotech Girl and in the next few minutes I will tell you the most effective reading techniques and when you should use them. Plus, three easy tricks that can help you pass all your future tests and exams without wasting more time than you should. Let's get started. Most students know that in order to study effectively, they need to read but they don't know how or when to make the reading most effective. And to get the most out of the time that you have invested in studying, it is equally important to know how to read and when to read. First, let's define the three different ways in which you can read the material. First one is you can scan the material, which is basically trying to find a particular information or a highlighted section. The second one is skimming through the material, which means to read to familiarize with the material by flicking through the book to get the general idea, without holding on to the details. And the third one is everybody's favorite, intensive reading, with the goal of understanding the material in greater depth. So how exactly should you implement these reading techniques? I know it sounds like a lot, but for the most effective results, you will need to start reading as soon as possible and read the material once before the class and read it after the class. And both of these have a different purpose. Before a class starts, I recommend skimming of the material in order to help prepare your brain to accept the information from the topics that should be covered that day. This means that you don't really have to read everything carefully and understand it completely at this stage. But let's say if you're watching this video 15 minutes before a class starts, don't worry, you can still do something about it. You can do the scan reading in which you can scan to find and read the headings and subheadings of the material that should be covered during the class. And pay special attention to bolded sentences and presented figures because it is likely that the teachers or professors will dedicate the most time on those and they will most probably ask them during revisions or in the test. The most important part is to never postpone reading after the lectures. Not to memorize, but to understand. This is because the longer you postpone reading after the lectures, the less you'll remember what you heard when you actually read it afterwards. This is when you do the intensive reading, and make sure that if you don't clearly understand any part of what you read, Pause the reading and look it up in more detail. This really helps save time in the long run, because the next time you come across the same section, you won't need to keep rereading the sentence, because it will already be clear. Bonus tip number one. Once you finish reading a challenging paragraph, you can try to close your eyes briefly to do a short recap of the content, and make it like a story. In this way, you can easily see if and where you need to dedicate some more time. If you have no struggles at all to tell the paragraph story, then you can be confident that you can move on to the next one. Bonus tip number two. For me personally, I like to use my travel time as my reading time. If you're in the metro or a bus on the way home, you can read through what was covered that particular day. Bonus tip number three. Don't be afraid of repeating a particular part several times. After all, the more times that you repeat it, the longer you will know it. By now you should know how to read effectively. You scan or skim through the material before a class, and you do the most intensive reading as soon as the class finishes. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking here if you want to be notified about my next videos. I'll see you in the next one.